delete user and then I plus kind of like in Java and then the user so I see a lot of people prefer to do in this manner where they put the uh, they use these kind of I don't know what's called and then they just put like you can write directly in it deleted user and then whatever what I delete I just go into the object and I grab it like this doesn't matter which way you write it if this way like kind it looks kind of cleaner I find so I'm gonna do it this way and then we also have to delete the user from our users array so right so the function we just wrote right here we're going to use it so this dot delete user and we're gonna use our username all right so here we delete if everything's empty and here we delete just the username if it has multiple value uh, multiple usernames in it so now we can return now we have to delete if we only have one user inside the one ID but we have multiple different IDs so we can't just delete it like we did earlier so if here we're gonna else on it and then in this else we're we're going to write well on second just to give if else else if else if I mean and then if this dot data dot i dot users dot is is equal to one and this data dot i oops this data dot i dot length um one sec no I got mixed up if this dot data dot users of zero is equal to my username. Alright, so I'm gonna double check, make sure this makes sense. We check our ID, zero of data. We grab the user, so how many how many people are in it, and we only have one. Alright, that's perfect. And then if the the object we have is equal to our username, that means that's the one we want to delete. And that means we can continue. So I just wanna why is this Um, I might have one curly bracket too much. I'm not getting any errors, so I'm going to say that that's the issue. I'll check after. So, alright. Um, so here, we're going to create another temp value. Um, I'm going to put temp2 just to make sure. It shouldn't have an issue, but just to guarantee so this, this is going to be equal to our data value of i and then our this dot data of i is going to be equal to this dot data of zero so we switch them obviously like we did uh, everywhere else here we, we take the very first value we put into our indexed value and then in our very first value we put the temp temp value which is our index to value. And then with this, we can now, we're gonna put a, so this is gonna be deleted ID. And we're gonna make it equal to this dot data dot, dot shift. So we delete the very first object into the array. And we're gonna console.log this. And we're going to put deleted ID and then we put our value of our deleted ID inside. And then we obviously have to remove our user, so this dot uh, delete user, which is our username. And then we can return. So let me check to make sure this is good. So if this else if break this part of code this if this part our phone loops there else is there phone loop there else else I mean this is here alright yeah so we're good so this deletes users and IDs 
All right, I just want to check where this finishes right here. Now that we're done with this, the last thing we need is just the sorting function. So to sort, it's just gonna, it's going to take like, so let's say we, we write multiple entries. We want to put the one with the most users in it first. So to be able to do that, we just have to sort them by how many usernames we have inside the arrays. So I create a sort function. And in this function, we're going to check if this dot data dot length is greater than two or greater or equal. Because if we only have one, there's no reason to sort, right? You only got one and one user and one ID. But if we do have two, then we can start sorting. So we need two for loops here because it's a just a basic sorting function. I didn't want to make anything too complicated because it would it, it doesn't really matter for this use right now. If later on I can make a more uh, optimized version of this with different data structures, like using a try instead of using a arrays. And then so so I'll just I'm just creating two for loops right now and I'm making them so this one's gonna equal to I while J is smaller than than uh this dot data dot length and J plus plus. Alright, so first four loops I go from start from zero while I is smaller than this dot data dot length minus one. The reason why I'm doing minus one here is because J is equal to I plus one. Alright, so by this one's gonna go to the very the before last value of the array, and this one's gonna go to the last value of the array. So the the uh, the array is, is fully covered, anyways. We don't have to, if we check this one without the minus one, we end up checking the same value, which is we don't want to do that. We want to check different values, right? So that's how we're gonna start off with this, and then we check. So if this dot this dot data dot i is smaller than uh, sorry this dot data dot i dot users users dot length so if our user length is smaller than this dot data dot j dot users dot length if it's smaller that means we want to do the same switch we've been doing this whole time all right so we take a temp value and we make it equal to our this dot data dot i this dot data dot uh, this dot data of i is equal to this data of j and then this dot data of j is equal to 10 and then but well, no, we don't return actually because we're going to be executing this for multiple values sometimes all right so i'm going to check how long this recording is um oh god yeah All right, so this now that we finished the spelling, we're just going to um, write a comment quick. So um, sorts the server I I don't know how would I write this um, entry with most players. Right, so I'm gonna write a comment for this real quick. So. Um, so this sorts the entry with most users. Alright, so if we check here, so we, we created our, our function listing and I'm going to save it actually. So we got our listing class and our entry class, alright. With this we're able to now create our, 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 um, our command which will do the last three functions of uh, saving codes. I'm going to do that in the next episode because uh, this one's already really long. So um, make sure if you want to check out the next series, you got to subscribe and see uh, get and get notifications. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to comment in the comment section. And uh, have a great day. Thank you.